Okay, this is a brief overview of my installation of a C5 onto an R BMW R90 Urban GS. Um, you can't really hide the camera away anywhere because uh, there's no fairing. So my solution was to fit uh, ram mounts and mount it on there. Um, couldn't see any other way around that. Uh, if you do that, just make sure that you put enough slack in the cable there um, to uh, cope with the uh, bars going over from lock to lock. Uh, you, you, it's easiest to raise a fuel tank. Uh, don't have to remove it completely, just slacken off the rear bolts and undo the two front bolts and it will raise. Uh, undo that, that uh, trim panel there off the air intake and it's a fairly easy route to go back along the tank and to come out in this area um, up to the DVR there. It's a little bit cosy and I did have to move that uh, plug just to make a bit of room. Um, it just fits in nicely. Um, the power supply unit I've put underneath this panel here so you can see it down there. Um, again, I'm a big fan of uh, spiral wrapping, uh, so there's lots of that everywhere. The permanent 12 volts I managed to route up there to the jump start connector block. The negative and the switch live is uh, quite an easy thing to do. Um, if you Google uh, R90 sat nav connection, um, if you look under the tank there, that white plug, BMW sell what they call a repair loom, which is basically three leads on a plug that clips into the sat-nav socket that they put in the wiring loom. Uh, the three leads are negative, um, switch 12 volts and pulse. Negative is num lead number one, uh, the switch live is number three and the pulse is number two. Pulse is not required, that's only for some BMW sat navs um, and again if you remove that small black panel it's quite an easy job to route it back to the power supp supply unit under there um, so that's that thanks for watching